Uh, good evening, Dylan. You know, speaking with folks here in town, uh, they say these guys just made an impact not only on them, but the community as a whole here in Bristol. The memorial's just been growing throughout the day. Folks dropping off flowers. Officers actually brought the flowers inside the police department uh, that were on the police crew because they're afraid of the rain that's coming up. You can see the black bunting that hangs over the police department as well. Uh, just everyone in this town thinking of these two officers that were killed and the one who's now recovering. Uncle Sam, can I help you? Every day, the crew inside Uncle Sam's restaurant takes care of hungry stomachs. But today, they're reeling, dealing with heavy hearts. They were in here yesterday laughing and smiling and just good guys. And all three of them are amazing. Pika Sturgos and Kelly Kay tell us officers Alex Hamsey and Alec Ayarado stopped in for lunch yesterday. They were just genuine, nice guys. They say that goes for all three officers shot last night. According to Bristol Police, Sergeant Dustin DeMonte leaves behind a wife and two kids with a baby on the way. 35 years old, he was hired in 2012, worked as a school resource officer and a cadet advisor with the Bristol Police Explorer program. He was actually the officer at my daughter's school. She went to Green Hills. The staff is just broken. They expected him actually today, and yeah, they get that phone call, and it's just awful. 34-year-old officer Alex Hamsey, who was hired in 2014, grew up here in Bristol and is a 2006 graduate of Bristol Eastern High School. He was part of the Central Region Emergency Response Team and was a cadet advisor as well. He survived by his wife. This afternoon, as mourners dropped off flowers outside the police department, a member of his graduating class said she just had to be there. Just always smiling. He just, he had a great personality. He just, I don't know, I just remember him so well because, you know, he was such a great person, so happy, you know. It was just amazing. And 26-year-old officer Alec Ayarado, who was shot and injured, was released from St. Francis Hospital late this morning. He joined the force in 2018, working the patrol division, along with being a member of the Central Region Emergency Response Team as well. They answered a call to duty, and they responded without hesitation. And that's what they did every night before that, and that's what all our officers do and will continue to do day after day. Now, so many, so many folks stopping by the police department here throughout the day. Coming up tonight at 6, you're going to hear from one man who came here to pay his respects and the personal connection he has with Sergeant DeMonte and how he says the sergeant really helped save him. That part of the story came up at 6. We're live with the mobile newsroom in Bridgeport, the Bristol. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.